Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield here at the show that I christened last year, the best show in West End history, and it's done it again. I saw it last night. Miss Saigon, and it is stunning, as is Eva. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Where do we start with this show? I mean, I've loved it since it opened, and for me, it is the most technically brilliant artistic show that's ever been on in the West End. Every light, every move, every scene has been so beautifully crafted, proving that Cameron is the greatest producer in history. And then he has to therefore find the best cast in history. And I've seen you five times, Eva, do this show, and I don't know how you do it. You're up there in the three best performances I've ever seen in 20 years. It is stunning. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow, that's very kind. And you're 19 years old. Yeah, it's crazy, I guess. It's insane. (laughs) What's it like being you? I mean, you come out and you sing these numbers and you have the voice of an angel. It must be the greatest compliment on earth that you're the star of this biggest show on earth. It's an honor, really. And I I try to take it day by day because if I think of it too much, it gets very overwhelming. But I have fun still and I I love the show and I love making my character um, real and and find different quirks about it every day. So it's it's fun, I enjoy myself. Do you ever do a 100% show where you feel perfect? Is it possible when you're churning out so many of these massive shows every week? Yeah, I think, I don't think it's possible to do 100% in my eyes every night because I'm an absolute perfectionist, but I give what I, can absolutely give and that's you know as much as I can that evening depending on you know there's a lot of factors in it but you know if you do your best every night then you're gonna you know please if the audience is pleased and the story is told then you've done your job but um yeah you can't do a a ballpark every night because I can't because I'll, I'll find flaws in everything in my performance. Do you realize how blessed you are? And this is a really sycophantic question, but to find somebody who can act as well as you and then sing it as well as you and deliver the whole thing as well as you and look like you do is a one in a million chance. You're so blessed and perfect for this role. In the line of like, I was born down here with this face and you're born there with that talent. I mean, it's remarkable, isn't it? I do feel very blessed and I... I'm very thankful and grateful to be here. Um, at the same time, it still takes work. Um, I'm working every day. This, as much as this is my passion and this is, you know, my hobby and what I love to do, this is still work, and I still try to strengthen myself as an actor and as a, a young woman who, you know, still very young, trying to figure out who I am. <laughs> right, <laughs> so. I get it. And then, of course, the call comes in and they say, can you do this role? And you were 17 at the time, were you? I, yes, I was 17 at the time when I was auditioning. Um, and it was scary because I never actually interacted with anyone else during the auditions. It was always me and Lawrence or, you know, me and James or somebody in the room. But I was never, I never saw any other girls. I never sang with a Chris. So it was just, it was weird. It was really weird. They took the risk with you. When that call came in confirming you'd got the gig, were you fearful or was it the most exciting moment of your life? I actually didn't get a call. I actually, (laughs) I had my last, they told me I had one more call back. And then after that call back, Cameron says, why don't you see a show in town? This was in New York. See a show in town with your dad and we'll do one more call back tomorrow at the Majestic Theater. So I did the call back the next day and he just pulled me in the auditorium and said, would you like to move to London? And I was like, maybe. And I started crying. Yeah, there were lots of tears. And then you see your face on the posters and all of that in this enormous theatre that Cameron, again, in his own way, has done up and made beautiful. So then it becomes a job and a reality. That opening night, how did you feel? How did you even manage to get out of your dressing room on stage? Because anyone else at 17 would have been petrified. I I was nervous, but I was so excited. I've wanted to do this since I was a fetus, so why would I stop myself now, now that I've given the opportunity? Um, I love it. I, lo- I had so much fun. And after, at the end, of course, as soon as the curtain comes down, we all just, ah! everyone. it was an electrifying night. How do you avoid yourself being lonely? Is the cast your family? I know it sounds cliched, but they kind of must be. The cast is my family, yeah. I've got a very supportive um, cast, a very supportive family, supportive boyfriend. Um, I'm great, you know. I think some people get confused that I get really lonely and I get really homesick, and I do, but I've wanted to know what I wanted to do since forever, and I'm very confident in that. So there's no need for me to want to be back where I was when I'm here doing my job, so. How many times a week do you tell your boyfriend he's the luckiest guy on earth? It's like every day, every day. No, no. He must pinch himself. I don't know. You can ask him. That must be something when he's in the crowd. I mean, that must be a thing. You know what? His brother and his 
his brother's new wife are actually watching tonight and I'm oh. I get really nervous do a good one don't phone it in tonight no phoning it in I'm tempted to there is no way you could do that because this show would just fall apart it's a killer acting performance as much as an acting singing performance I think I underestimate sometimes so I think in the beginning it was so much to have a normal day right go to the gym do your thing come to work and then it's so emotional and it's so you never stop Kim ne Kim and Chris they just don't stop throughout the whole show so there's no way I can go into work and not have those five minutes alone in my dressing room to just get in the zone you have to have that or you'll see you will you will be on another planet doing the show and that just does not work this is such a magnificent production guys thank you for talking to me thank, thank you thank you so much appreciate it